Hi guys, Remy here and today I'm going to be talking about my new turntable. Oh, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. For my 20th birthday, I got the Audio Technica LP120 and I got some JVC bookshelf speakers with Bluetooth and they are amazing. Like, oh, I played a few records the other day because I haven't had that much time to actually listen but I was blown away with the sound, everything sounds amazing and all the songs that skipped before for the past four years all play perfectly and I know it's kind of like an obvious thing because I've upgraded to a much higher quality turntable with a new cartridge, a better needle and better sound and everything but I always thought because my records had always skipped on the old player I thought that would always leave a bit of damage or that it was like forever it would forever be skipped or forever be faulty or something but they don't even my radioactive from my Imagine Dragons Night Visions album which always skipped right through the song like you couldn't listen to a single line because it went it just skipped entirely plays perfectly now while my guitar gently whips from the white album which i thought would always be damaged because i always used to put pennies on the tone arm to try and get it to stop skipping plays amazingly even old records like um, my mum's copy of bad or some of my 45s that you used to get stuck in a loop they don't get stuck anymore i was literally having the best day ever just listening to all these songs perfectly my Magical Mystery Tour album, which had Hello, Goodbye, Strawberry Fields Forever and Magical Mystery Tour skip all the time, they play amazingly now and I know it's a bit of a stupid thing to get excited about because again it's so obvious that that was a solution upgrade but it just took so long to upgrade and now I finally have, I can listen to my records in peace and the fear of having my tracks skip, I don't need to worry so much anymore and also just the whole look of it is amazing. So this is it, this is my Audio Technica LP120. Oh, I love it so much, I love it so much. I haven't toyed around with the pitch range yet because I just, I don't really have the need to, but I'll try it out one day. This is very, the light is very helpful when I'm trying to like figure out where to um, drop the needle and yeah I love it and these are my speakers they are from JVC they do have a longer name but I can't remember it for the life of me but yeah I got these from Curry's PC World to be honest they weren't very helpful when it came to deciding on speakers because all I wanted to know was would they plug into my record player and do they have an amplifier inside them and they just they weren't very helpful in answering my questions, they didn't seem to know what I was talking about. Um, even though they do sell this record player, I was just like, um, you're not really helping. But I ordered them from the website, they came the next day, and I was, I've been thrilled with them, I love them so far. Like, my setup is gorgeous, I love it. Um, I am using the preamp in the record player and I am using active speakers because even though I know that if you buy all the components separately you could potentially get a better sound quality do I have the money no <laughs> and do I really want all these things when I know that I can just have a turntable with a good preamp and active speakers I'd rather that to be honest I know audiophiles might be like oh no you should have gone for like a Technics or a turntable that's over 500 pound well that's just not realistic for me this record player was very expensive in my opinion and i just thank i'm so grateful that i have it because it it's for, for me it's unbelievably expensive and even the speakers were pricey but the fact that i have it i'm so grateful and it plays amazingly and i'm good i don't need something even more expensive i'm happy with what i have and it's just lovely i just love i, I i'm looking at it <laughs> if you're seeing me like look at it i'm looking at it it's just so great and i just can't wait to expand my collection even more so that i can play it on this and it's just it's awesome 
Um, when it came to deciding about my record player, I was torn between two players. Audio Technica LP120 was my first choice, and I was um, I found out about the player through Vinylize and his YouTube channel because some of his videos were very useful about me trying to figure out why my records were skipping or just other questions about vinyl. But another player I was intrigued by was the Fluence RT81 which I found out about through Vinyl Rewind and his channel and I loved the look of both players. I think I preferred the look of the Fluence RT81 a bit better because I really liked the walnut finish and it just, aesthetic wise, I thought it was gorgeous. Whereas the LP120, personally, I thought, I didn't like the silver look of it. And I thought it had made maybe many, too many bells and whistles that I probably wouldn't need. Like I preferred the simplicity of the RT81, but when I read more into it, I knew that the Audio Technica was direct drive, whereas Fluence was belt drive. and. I've been used to having a direct drive player because the GPO Memphis was a direct drive player and I just prefer that method. Something that I get really angsty about is inaccurate speed and I know that belt drive, one of the cons with belt drive is speed issues and I don't want inconsistent speed, that'll just piss me off. And I just, I know that this, um, these rotating circles there to like show you that it's on the right speed or the speed is accurate which i think is really useful considering with the fluence when i was trying to compare the two the fluence didn't have something like this and also it just it looked kind of trippy so i really like that effect don't think it's showing up very well on the camera which i apologize for but it is on the correct speed of 33 and a third right now <laughs> whereas with direct drive one of the cons is motor noise and I think with my old player I get what you mean because I did hear a lot of vibration and a little bit of distortion from like the sound of the motor whereas so far with my Audio Technica I haven't really had that yet or it's just my speakers I've had the volume loud enough so that I haven't heard it and it just doesn't bother me to be honest um Everything else though, it was really hard to like decide because I was torn between the two because they have a very similar price range and I liked, I had a lot of information concerning both of them and so it just took me, it took me weeks to decide and I felt bad about betraying Fluence because I know some people like I talked to online, they were, they were really um, recommending the Fluence over the Audio Technica because they didn't like the Audio Technica but in the end I thought, no, go with the Audio Technica because um, it's a more well-known company. There's more support for it in the UK, whereas Fluence is a Canadian company. Therefore, trying to get a hold of them might be a bit harder. There's no like UK website or something like that. And on Amazon, the Audio Technica was £5 cheaper. I didn't get it from um, I didn't get it from Amazon. We got it from Richer Sounds, um, but it was still the same price as Amazon. Um, and I just I think in the end I made a really good decision with the Audio Technica. Like I'm really sorry for it once, but this the Audio Technica is just amazing. I got it in black because I really didn't like the silver finish to it. It just seemed a little bit too ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I, with black, I feel like it just looks a lot nicer, looks a bit more sleek and it matches my speakers a bit more which are black and I even like, I love my speakers because they are Bluetooth so I can connect my phone to it. Whereas before I would have my phone connected to my GPO Memphis via an AUX cable and I'd have to bring it into my kitchen from my room if I ever had guests over. Whereas now I can just bring the speakers in, connect to my phone and it's great. And I love them so much because they have a walnut finish. So it just has a little bit of a retro vibe to it and it kind of has a little retroness that I kind of wanted with the Fluence. So yeah. I just, oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I'm so happy. This player is amazing. 
And now my records will play so much better. I bought um, Egypt Station Explorers Edition by Paul McCartney um, a few weeks ago now, actually. And it was playing fine on my GPO Memphis until I got to the track Frank Sinatra's Party. It just skipped right through it. So I took it back, thought, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, I knew that there was a chance I was getting a record player, but I didn't want, I couldn't, you could never be too sure. So I exchanged it for another version and that version played even worse. And I was like, oh no, this is a nightmare. But no, I'm really happy. I decided to wait until the Audio Technica came, listened to it the other night, played amazingly. And I'm really happy now because I got it for a really good deal. H&V are selling the Explorers edition, which is a triple album for £30, whereas on Amazon it's like near £60. So I really wanted my copy from H&V to work and now it does and I'm just so thrilled. Honestly, I've been in such a good mood and I'm just so happy. I am thrilled. And I feel like this will really improve my channel as well as I now have a, a really good turntable as opposed to my um, good old GPO Memphis that I had before. But yeah, it's just a quick video about me updating you guys about my setup and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye guys!